Joining us live now, our editorial director, Chuck Stokes, one of the moderators from last night's debate. Chuck, uh, we've seen the polls tighten with Governor Whitmer having still a single-digit lead, um, but Tudor Dixon moving from that last debate sure. into tonight with either being closer to the margin of error or even into it. So I got to ask, do you think that uh, Tudor Dixon did anything last night to decrease that margin of error even more? Yeah, I think so. I think that this race is certainly closing up. We always knew it would close up. Um, she may have started slow, but I think she's running twice as hard and twice as fast now. And I think she's gotten her sea legs. And I think she made herself look very good in that debate. I think they were two very capable candidates out there. And I think because she commanded herself so well that for her supporters, they felt good walking away from that debate. I think Whitmer's supporters felt the same way. It's going to close up. People are focused in now. The question is, can she catch the governor at this point, surpass her or nip her right at the finish line? We'll have to wait and see. Well, you talk about both supporters of each candidate having something to walk away sure. from uh, in, in, in their favor from last night. But is there that opportunity for that gap to even close this point, given both the stark differences between the two, so many absentee ballots already cast, and the limited undecideds who will even vote still? Well, I think so. And I, I think you hit the key word, the undecided. We don't know which way the undecided are going to break. And then even if you look at all these polls, there's that margin of error, which is usually plus or minus 4%. So if they break for Whitmer, then she's in great shape and she commands that lead and holds on to it. If it breaks for Dixon, then you could find that all of a sudden, okay, she's doing what John Engler did with Jim Blanchard some years ago. So it's certainly a possibility. All right. Yeah. Well, we'll find out All right. <laughs> in just a few weeks. Chuck Stokes, thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Okay. Thank you, Brian. Great work last night. Thank you so much. All right.